A lot of cloud cover out there and the rain is just offshore. It is all spinning away out here. Now, you're noticing that it doesn't look like there's rain out here, but there really is. It's just beyond radar range at this point. But it does mean we're going to see some of these showers lifting their way northward. Might be a few spot showers tonight down toward the Cape, but really for the bulk of us, it's going to be more tomorrow into Friday. And this thing is slow to leave, which means we keep this northeasterly wind going and keep us on the cool side as well. So let me break it down for you and show you what happens. Tomorrow morning, Scattered showers, mainly over the southeastern part of the state. Then as the day goes on, we'll watch this rain kind of try to push its way inland farther and farther. And as it works its way eastward, east to west, we're going to get more rain coming in here. And I think the best chance really is going to be later tomorrow afternoon, through the evening, and into Friday as well. But notice how there's not much of a westward progress with this whole thing. So if you're west of Worcester, especially north and west, say up around Orange or Fitchburg, you might not be getting too much rain out of this whole thing. And then we'll head for Saturday where there's still maybe a few scattered showers around, but the theme here will be we'll slowly start to clear things away. So how much rain are we talking about? Well, north of the pike, I think we'll be seeing total somewhere around a quarter of an inch. However, you get down toward the Cape, we could get some spots that could get a good inch of rain out of the whole thing as that lifts its way through the area. Now, the winds will also be ramping up as we head through Friday into Saturday. Here's your wind gusts on Friday night. They stay gusty on Saturday. And just a heads up with that northeasterly wind doing that, can be a rip current risk because of these churned up ocean at this point. So we do have a rip current risk along the coast that we'll be keeping an eye on. Of course, there are no lifeguards at the beaches anymore. So if you are going to the beach and you are going into the water, just be advised that is somewhat on a dangerous side with those rip currents that will be out there. So tonight, cloudy, a few showers. Best chance to be over the southeastern part of the state tomorrow. A lot of cloudy skies, cooler showers at times, drizzle near the coast and not very warm compared to the temperatures we've had lately. So a couple of days of gray skies coming in here with showers and some drizzle. And then Saturday, we've got a chance of some showers early, but I do think the theme there will be kind of clearing it away. It'll get windy. It'll stay cool. The coldest temperature may actually be on the first day of fall, which would be on Sunday. After that, we'll start a very slow and minor warm up Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, but it does look dry as we head towards next week. But eh, between now and the weekend, we do have some scattered showers and any rain would be welcomed at this point.